Welcome back to Chris's comments. It's Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022. Um, I'm taking a break from what's going on in Texas and uh, the judiciary stuff and all this other crap. And I'm going straight to uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, Ghislaine Maxwell, whatever her damn name is. Um, Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein had a list of clients uh, <coughs> of people whom they were offering these uh, minors to. And um, there's a uh, uh, media outlet called Gateway Pundit. The lawyers, they sick the lawyers on the court saying, we want the names. Uh, this is from Newsroom. Lawsuit filed to expose identities of Epstein's clients. And I'm going to read all this through like normal and then give you my my personal opinion. I'm pretty sure we all are going to agree to it because uh, this is a show of common sense on common ground. That's why it's called Chris's Comments. Okay, here we go. The lawyers for the media outlet Gateway Pundit have filed a legal motion seeking to publicly release the names of the clients of Jeffrey Epstein. A civil suit is still ongoing by Virginia uh, Giffer, uh, who was a victim of sex trafficking by Epstein and Maxwell. The motion said any document that names the names of clients should be made public. The case is not one where secrecy must triumph. In normal uh, course of events, in the normal course of events, the information would have been made public by now. The motion also adds, to the extent the identities of the um, Epstein clients appear in judiciary do judicial documents, there must be a com there must be compelling reasons to seal them. The compelling reasons and facts must show more than mere conjecture and more than embarrassing embarrassment, incrimination, or wider exposure of the facts to the public. Ultimately, mere privacy concerns are insufficient to warrant sealing of records. This is not a case involving mere spuritious and, and uh, defamatory allegations. Epstein and Maxwell are convicted criminals for their participation in the sex trafficking at issue. And for the record, Maxwell's being moved to a cushy, low-security Florida correctional institution that offers recreation, leisure, and social programs designed to help develop an individual wellness concept. Mental health care, people. She's getting it while the rest of us is not, and she's a lady that participated in sex trafficking minors. Critics are claiming that this is Maxwell's reward for not divulging the visitors on the guest list that were on her and Jeffrey's Island. Now, that last part is obviously very emotional and I'll, I'll get to it. I want to get to the law part, the, uh, the, the stuff that the uh, lawyers are saying. Okay. The identities of Epstein's clients appear in judicial documents. There must be compelling reasons to seal them. That's a damn good point. That is a very good point. The compelling reasons and facts must show more than mere conjecture and more than embarrassment, incrimination, or wider exposure of the facts. Those are valid reasons. There should be no reason for for uh, the clients to be sealed, the, their identities to be sealed. We do this with every uh, every person that wound up on that sex offenders list. You know where they are. You know where they live. You know what they're doing for a living. Uh, you know if they're visiting parks or malls. Um, you know you know what you know what they're doing. There's always an eye on them. And that's the price to pay. 
sorry, you know who they are. That's the price to pay. And given that this, I mean, not that this makes it any better or worse or whatever, but it should add incentive. These are people that thought that they can do this not above the law or under the law, but behind the law's back. Okay? To pose like regular people out in the open, but to be criminals behind closed doors. And for those of you who are saying, well, that's a lot of reason. Look at this president. Look at that president. Look at this. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not looking at presidents right now. I'm looking at these sex offenders right now. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about two people who, by the way, were not nor never presidents. You know, therefore have no actual political sway on anything. Despite the fact that politicians were a part of it, both Trump and Clinton uh, came to them for services. That's also irrelevant. We're talking about criminals who did these criminal acts, regardless of who their clients were. But back to their clients, there must be compelling reasons to seal them. The compelling reasons and facts must show more than mere conjecture, more than embarrassment incrimination, okay? They must show more than a wider exposure of the facts. There's no reason to seal the identities of those people. You know, especially, especially if every single one of them that went to Epstein's island or met them at Mar-a-Lago or England or, uh, you know, some country in uh, some island off of the Spain, off of coast of Spain or whatever. Okay, revealing the list of clients helps crack down who was actually there to play golf at Mar-a-Lago. Who was actually there to look at islands off of the coast of Spain? Who was actually there to enjoy London, England, to do the tourist stuff in London, England? Okay, all of that stuff can be backed up with testimonials, surveillance, um, uh, recorded appointments, recorded uh, travels, uh, airline, boat, uh, boat cruises, whatever, however they traveled there. All of those things can help the law pinpoint who was involved and who wasn't. All of that information. But they got to know who to look for. They got to know who to look up. In particularly, the names on the client list. It's just that simple. It's just simple law procedures. Plain and simple. I, I think it's it's justified. And as far as this, uh, Max. Okay, now that's concerning the main deal here. Going to Maxwell, Ghislaine Maxwell, who's going to a cushy low security. Uh, Florida Correctional Institute that offers recreational leisure and social programs designed to help develop an individual wellness concept. All right, anybody that's a sex offender should get medically looked at. I ain't going to deny that. But to be doing this in the same type of prison that, say, the Wolf of Wall Street guy went to, you know, or to do it in the same place, to do it in the same manner that a, a cartel boss, you know, did, locking himself in his own prison with all these uh, bitches coming over, these party girls and drugs and alcohol to help keep him partying, um, the way it was with uh, with um, the Colombian one, El Patron. Um, you know, that's just idiotic. That's just idiotic because Maxwell, Ghislaine Maxwell, came from money, had a lot of money, and unless she's actually paying for this stuff, you know, to think that it's coming out of Florida, despite the fact that it's Florida state dollars, there's still a portion of it. You know the, the governor isn't going to be doing it off of Florida state money. 
He's going to be turning to, to the presidential administration, suing them for finances. Hey, I've got a huge criminal to secure here. But here's the thing. They go into a low security uh, uh, place that offers recreational and leisure and social programs. You know, again, for a woman that aided and embedded, if not actually participated, well, actually participated, but uh, in, in, in luring the girls. Uh, but there's no telling as to whether or not she actually participated in the actual sexual violation act. Okay. Not, at least not to me, because I haven't really delved into the uh, the investigation personally. Uh, I just know that she's bad, what she did was bad, and she deserves to be in prison no differently than Epstein did, whether or not she winds up hanging herself off of her shoestrings or, or you know, blanket or, you know, pillowcase, you know, in the end. It, that doesn't matter. I just know that she needs to be locked up and, and nowhere near anything recreational leisure or social programs to help develop the individual wellness concept okay um the the proof is already there she's already been convicted dude lock her up in the deepest darkest cell and in fact only have a therapist talk to her you know to think that she's able to have recreational events on on a uh, imprisonment grounds to think that she's capable of leisurely relaxing getting some sun on 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 a prison grounds to think that she's able to uh, to have some kind of wellness concept exercise in pr on prison grounds is just wrong it is just absolutely wrong and um, you know it, I know it. The law should be able to be doing it as well. The law knows it. They shouldn't be able to be giving any kind of leisure, not for this kind of stuff. Let me put it, let me, let me also look at it this way. There was a family, a couple, and I forgot their names, but the only way we found out about them sexually violating their own children to top it all off uh, was when one or two of their kids actually escaped from captivity, made a 911 call, you know, encouraging the police to stop the bad acts of doing by claiming that one of her sisters was being uh, uh, chained up and and hung off the uh, off the uh, hung hung up by her ankles or something like that hung up by her wrist or ankles, you know, literally while she was talking to the person, while she was talking to the operator on the phone, you know, that kind of stuff, require, you know, incites this huge rescue uh, mentality, a huge uh, gargoyle within. Um, and everybody went to the rescue of those kids, you know, unchaining them, un unhanging them, and all this stuff and 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 getting on the two parents that were that were holding their children in captivity and doing all these you know uh, uh, immoral morbid and just plain wrong acts upon them okay they're not going to a cushy place where they can have recreational programs to attend to if they want. You know, they're not going to some recreational place, some place of leisure where you can relax and get some sun. You know, which is what I'm thinking of when I think of leisure. You know, they're not going to some place that's a prison that's that's uh, giving them health, wellness, mental wellness concepts. You know, which, no offense, I know that it's more than just, I know that it's a serious aspect concerning a serious mental health doctor. But we all know it also entails people that want to talk for attention and want to claim 
uh, want to find a way to excuse themselves because they think they have a they they're they're consisted of a sickness that's not their fault. Okay, you can't have people like that exercising that aspect of mental healthness in claiming that they are sick with something that is not their fault. You know. You know, I would like to know what I've never heard of bipolar or schizophrenia, you know, telling the mind that they can only see, you know, some kind of crap as impulsive or or hypnotic or subliminal, you know. Because a lot of these things, as we're finding out, bipolar and even schizophrenic, you know, are technically also easier submittive uh, or, or, you know, subliminable to doing something. You know, this is where everybody gets to thinking that if you see enough horror movies, you're actually going to enact it. When the fact of the matter is, is that it's the creative mind developing these enactments based off of other other uh, uh, s scenes you know but it still comes down to choice in order to make that move we all know this we all know this and it's in that that decision where it is not their fault no where it is their fault sorry about that where they can't claim it's not their fault. That's what I meant to say. Sorry about that. I don't have an edit button, so I have to, I have to review this. Uh, I have to redo this all the time. Sorry about that. There's no rewind. There's nothing. This is a very basic thing on on YouTube. Uh, the studios. I downloaded the app, and all it does is just show me how nobody's watching me. <laughs> all it does is just show me nobody's watching me, and all it does is record all the critics. Uh, off of the comment section uh, how many people are not watching me and why I can't get paid you know uh, but I'm doing this I'm not just doing this for a possibility of getting paid I'm doing this because uh, everybody needs to vent and everybody needs to speak their minds and that's all that I'm doing I'm just speaking my mind but yeah I mean this mental wellness concepts um, it's just total bullcrap for somebody like Ghislaine Maxwell and the other two, the other two sex offenders whose name, again, I name, I do apologize, but I can't remember their names right now who violated their own children, you know, and that's really the only difference between that couple and this couple should one not have been found hanged in a cell. Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, the only difference between them and and the couple that got arrested after their children escaped and called 911 is that, you know, Ghislaine Maxwell lured kids, you know, the other two did it to their own. And that's it. That's the only difference. Violated their, their kids that, on that. How they violated is also a little bit different. One did it for money. One couple did it for profit. The other couple did it for whatever uh, there's still no clear answer to that but both of them are still at fault why because of the choice that they made nobody told them to do this they did this off of their own free will I like to know what movie uh, or, or rap song that said it's okay to, uh, to pimp your kids what movie said that what 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 rap song says that and even still when you've got something like that you know you still made the choice to do it that's the bottom line and that's what i have to say about that subject um, I'm keeping an eye out on a lot of things and I'm going to make another post on a lot of other things 
Um, but every time I try to, <laughs> something here in Texas is always happening. Something that my damn governor uh, does that just is just whacked, you know, and I have to bring it up again. I'm trying to go through other avenues, but you got to understand, I'm only I'm I'm only doing this on my lunch break, and I'm I'm going home, and when I'm trying to unwind after driving, and and stop seeing lane lines, um, all day after all day of driving, you know I can only handle one issue at a time. I don't really I don't I don't work with a team of writers, you know I'm not a journalist to begin with. Um, you know, I can only do so much and I can only point out what I know in my area, on my side of the world, you know. So I, I, I thank every one of you for for taking the time to listen, even though I'm not telling you to, to subscribe. I'm not telling you to be a member of anything. I don't have a website for that anyway. Like I said, I'm just venting. Um. If any of you out there, however, do like what I'm what I'm saying, because obviously you, we can agree to this common ground, common sense on common ground thinking, you know, um, hit the like button, you know, let me know, or or throw a comment down there, you know, uh, don't just let let the haters say anything, uh, because the haters are coming up with the most stupid comments. You know, I'm uh, I'm bringing up something concerning corporate greed, and uh, it might concern some some particular industry, and I'm getting a comment like, "You know nothing of this industry," and it, that is just dumb, you know, because I wouldn't be saying anything if I didn't. And one, I don't have to know the industry. You know, you don't have to know the industry. Why? Because we're not looking at so much the industry we're looking at the crap that those industry industries are doing that's what we're looking at that's what we're seeing I don't have to know the industry the crap that they're doing speaks for itself so uh, yeah um, be sure to, to, to do so and uh, those of you who recognize the uh, articles that I'm stating? Uh, if it's okay to, to to state your name, the articles or the interviews, let me know, because I got no problem with sharing who is bringing me this information that I am relaying to the people out there. I got no problem with that. Uh, after all, you guys are the ones that are actually doing the work. I'm not. <laughs> Like I said, I'm just passing the word. I'm just passing on the word. Uh, so if it, you know if it doesn't bother you guys that I'm stating stuff from you guys and I give you guys the credit, you know, let me know. You can email me. You can write in the comment section because this this segment is YouTube. Uh, you can email me. I'll I'll post it down. It's a town my town at gmail.com. One word, all lowercase. Um, a town was supposed to be short for American town. Uh, I thought it would be catchy, but it's it's you know it just looks kind of weird now that I look back on it. Uh, A town, my town, at uh, gmail .com. You know, you can also uh, leave. I think you can also leave comments on, on my podcast. It's audio only, so you don't have to look at my mug. Uh, it's audio only at uh, Anchor dot fm forward slash chris dash comments uh and it's um it's again it's through spotify so and uh, i'm trying to figure out how to send it distribute it to other podcasts i i'm 49 and i'm really not computer savvy i honestly think it's also the fact that i'm doing this off of my phone and not off of a, a an actual computer and stuff um and that my phone is just limited or something uh, to where I can't, I can't reach the other, um, what should we call it? The other podcasts. <laughs> so uh, that's that's all that there is right now. It's just this site. It's just this page. It's just that one podcast. Um, I have no merchandise to sell you. 
Uh, I apologize. I don't know if anything that I'm saying is catchy enough for it anyway. Um, most of the stuff that I'm claiming that I love, the phrases that I love, has already been made up. It's more than likely already uh, copywritten. Uh, so I don't know. It's just sayings and, and quotes that I like to, to, to use when uh, expressing my views. Um, so I got, I got no merchandise. Um, you know, I don't have any, uh, any, any other links. Uh, the anchor FM is the only anchor FM is the only one that I, that I do have aside from this. And I have an email. I just have an email. I don't have a, a business line, an office line or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you could throw a comment or just simply hit the like or, uh, comment with a thumbs up emoji. I don't care. You know, it's cool. Uh, the only reason why I'm asking is just to, just for the feedback. Um, again, I don't really have any, I don't have anything to sell you. Um, so it's not to get anything from you. The only thing that I really am asking for is feedback. Uh, just to, just to, just to see what's going on. The analytics says that I'm out there, but there's no, any, in, there's insufficient data for anything else to tell me anything else and this entire year and a half that's all I've been happy with is just being able to post my crap out there and and that's it um, but now I'm a little curious uh, you can let me know what's uh, what's up uh, and also if you got information to share on on whatever subject it doesn't have to be this one um, but any any kind of knowledge will also be will always be helpful. It'll always be helpful, whether I'm able to produce it or not. I've got a couple of shared uh, shared emails, uh, data concerning um, people in power and pedophiles. Um, a lot of it is is has been debunked that I've been reading. Uh, so it's it's you know it's okay it's okay, but you know whatever I can use I post on here um, I've gotten a couple of testimonials from truck drivers concerning the uh, the oil and fuel industry um, nothing that I can really post out without incriminating having them you know exposed uh, but it's it's one of the it's and to top it all off it's nothing that I haven't looked up already but that being said, it's, it, you know, it, it was helpful for me to, to continue and, and talk about the, uh, the BS that we're going through with our fuel, you know, um, policy and police procedures also helped, uh, despite the fact that the, 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 the news outlets already covered it, especially during the Uvalde shootings, um, and any other, and, and the other mass shootings, um, that was extremely helpful also. Um, and I understand you guys not wanting me to post your names, uh, because I mean that the blue line and I get it, I get it. That thin blue line, uh, that's fine. Um, you know, it's cool. Again, I'm only asking for the feedback to know that I'm still, you know, uh, doing good that you guys are still listening and all this stuff. Uh, Again, for those of you that do want credit for what <laughs> that do want your credit for, uh, let me know. Let me know that I can actually say, state your name on this. You know, I did it a couple of posts and I haven't really gotten any feedback. So no news is good news. But I'm still not sure as to whether or not I have permission to do so. Uh, please let me know. OK, uh, please let me know if you want your you want credit for what you're stating. You know, I got no problem giving it to you. Like I said, I'm just using this format to vent, to to share my opinion, because my opinion is nowhere near the gloom and doom that all these other media podcasts and and commenters are doing. You know, uh, it's just it's just messed up. We're all doomed, according to all of these people. The world is coming to an end right now, as we speak, according to all these people. So you know. The only thing I can say to that is whatever, dude, and carry on with my comments, which are all down to earth, common sense on common ground on this subject. Sure. 
and a psychoanalyst does need to, uh, you know, examine the brain of this bitch, you know, uh, but by no means should that be done in a resort style leisure prison. Okay. A resort styled holding facility. She should still, she should still be serving time in a prison. Okay. That's the common sense on common ground stuff that I'm referring to. Um, everybody else is, is saying, you know, Ghislaine Maxwell is going to be free because if she's not already free, sex offenders, sex offenders, they're everywhere. And because I take a stand on this political side, it's all the other side. It's all the pol politicians on the other aisle. They're all guilty. And this world is coming to an end because we're all we're all having to face uh, uh, sex offenders that are that are uh, that are free to move around. Okay, all of that crap is just bull crap. Okay, all of that crap, this doom that they, all of that is gloom and doom that I'm referring to, that I'm shying away from in my comments that you and I can both, you know can both see eye to eye on common ground uh so that's the spiel and again if you want credit for your information that you're playing just let me know you know i got no problem i got no problem sharing uh, uh letting you have your credit rather not sharing it but letting you have your credit because again all i am is just a relay i'm a relay i'm relaying the message that's it and uh uh, hope to hear from you, read from you, uh, and all this good stuff. Uh, Y'all take care. Y'all take it easy. This is Chris with Chris's Comments, signing out.